Hello there, are you a Webflow developer and are looking to take your income to the next level? On today's video, we will share multiple ways on how to increase your income and also we will show you one way to multiply your income by 10. So let's start. So what are the next things you need to do in order to get more income after you become a Webflow expert? You have different options. Now, it's important you compare each of these options and you look at the ones that will generate more value to your clients. Because in that way, as you deliver more value to your clients, they will be willing to pay you more for that. So let's start. So the first thing that you can do after you become a Webflow expert is to become a CSS wizard, just like Timothy Ricks. This will allow you to create really dynamic sites and the end goal of this is to make it easy for your client to make changes to the Webflow site without breaking things. Just like Timothy Ricks has done by creating symbols that are really easy to change. Now, what's another option? Another really, really valuable option that you can do after you become a Webflow expert is to become an expert on JavaScript. This will give you superpowers to build complex things on top of your regular Webflow sites with HTML and CSS. And also JavaScript will come handy on the other things that we'll be talking about later. A third option is to look into 3D components for your Webflow sites. As you guys know, Spline, a 3D tool, it has a native integration with Webflow. So if you think that this is valuable for you or your clients and they are looking for this type of components in 3D, definitely look into this option. Now, the fourth one, a really common one, is to become an expert on GSA to create really custom animations. And there are clients that are willing to pay a lot of money in order to create custom and unique experiences for their users. A fifth option, and one that I really like, is to become an expert on SEO. In this way, you will be bringing more leads to your clients organically. And you know, at the end of the day, every single client builds a website for a reason, to bring more people. And if you can help organically without your client spending money on ads, like bring more clients to them that will generate them more revenue, this is one of the most valuable skills that you can learn. What is after this? After you specialize in unique skills, client will look for you for this specific niche. You don't want to be all over the place doing everything at once. You want to really specialize on a, you know, on a niche where you can make the most out of it. I know whenever you get into a niche, less clients will appear but as well less competence. What is after this? So as a freelance or an agency, what you want to have is a stability. I don't know how many agencies have closed because of cash flow. So for this reason, what you want to do is to have a fixed regular income every single month that will not require you to close a project every single month. So probably you want to look into the knowledge that won't be required for the client just once. So becoming an SEO expert is a really good way to generate fixed monthly income because clients are willing to pay for fixed monthly prices in order to create SEO campaigns that will bring them leads organically. One of the best examples that I can share is Peyton Clark Smith. Now there is one last option that I haven't shared yet. This is the one that have made us gone from two people in the agency to be 14 at the end of the year. What am I talking about? building web applications on top of Webflow. There's a warning here because I have heard too many people saying, hey, this is too complex, this is not for me. And please, you definitely want to stick with it because the value that you will be able to provide not only for your clients, but for yourself, it's crazy good. And the tools that I'm talking about, it's using Webflow plus Wiz plus Sano. I know there are multiple tools that you can build web apps with using Webflow, like member stack, like Airtable, like Zapier, like Make. But if you want to create a scalable project, our suggestion is to use this type of things that will give you the granularity to achieve anything for your clients. As I said before, there's a warning here because there are multiple learning curves that you need to go through. So after Webflow, what is there? You need to learn JavaScript because Wiz is a visual editor of JavaScript, but not completely because you still need to write JavaScript on top of Wiz. What else do you need to learn? You need to learn about how to set up a database properly. Not only that, but you also need to learn how to use the API editor that Sano has. Also, you need to learn about cybersecurity so you can protect the data of your users. Now, I know there are multiple things to learn, but is it worth it? For sure. You're gonna start charging, you know? It's, it's not the same to build a marketing site on a fully web app that will bring direct money to the client's table. 
you can charge 10x, 15x, 20x what you were charging for a regular marketing site. And that's not the best part of it. The best part of building web apps is that you will be constantly pushing updates for your client because a web app is not something that you just deliver and that's it. A web app is something that the clients will always continuously be improving because it's bringing in, as I said, directly money to their table. So how do you get started building web apps? My suggestion is to get started learning about APIs and how these work. Now, the fantastic thing about jumping to web apps now than three years before are multiple things. The first one is that now you have YouTube tutorials that you can watch that will show you how to properly set up multiple things like authentication, database security, good practices, staging environment, production environment, something that never existed before on YouTube. And the top one is that you don't need to be a full expert on JavaScript. Now you have the help of ChatGPT of Cloudy that will allow you to write JavaScript on top of Wiz without the need for you to be writing every single line of code. Also, Sano has an AI tool trained off with all the data that they have that will help you out with any questions that you have for the function editor. These things didn't exist before and I have gone through those flows in a painful way, making really bad mistakes that cost our clients money at that time. And I wouldn't suggest you to do that. You don't want to be building web apps without experience, but somehow you need to learn these skills in order to scale your agency to the next level. You won't be building only marketing sites that have formed to send the data to our table. You will be able to build complex flows that will they can charge users where you can set up subscriptions, set up logic, create anything on top of your web sites. Now you will also say, hey, you know, there are other tools to build web apps instead of using Webflow. But let me tell you, there are a ton of clients that want to keep using Webflow because how easy it is to create pixel perfect sites and the frames that we have on top of you like client first. Clients love those setups. So you can tell me about WeWeb, Toggle, Flutterflow, whatever. There's no other tool like Webflow for building front-end. So that's why there's a ton of people sticking with it and they want you to build a web app on top of it. But as I said, there is a process that you need to go through in order to be able to sell these type of projects. This is the era to become a developer, not only a Webflow developer, but as well a full web app developer. So please leave me all the questions that you have if you want to jump into this tech stack. We would love to help you get started. And please remember, the more complex things that you can build, the more that you can charge your clients because the more value you provide to them. So if you like this type of video, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.